Big D. <laughs> you early. <laughs> doggy dude, I had to do doggy dude. How so are you, man? How you doing, man? It's time again. And I, th I think popped up a couple weeks ago. It's been a minute time, since yeah. we filmed. 2018. Oh my god, two years? Yeah. Oh, look what you brought. Yeah. We got put this in my office. There you go. That's so, yeah, so. Awesome, awesome. I love that one. So. You look great, dude. I've been following on on social. Like, uh, it's crazy. Like, I remember like two years when we shot. I was, it was. I took a year off, and then I did again. I took another year off this one, but it's totally different. Yeah. I mean, even with the pandemic and all that type of thing, I think it like actually relaxed me. Yeah, so yeah. You you don't age. <laughs> it looks like. Try to go backwards. Right? <laughs> awesome. like, like Dexter. I'm Benjamin to. Button. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> So we're here in San Diego at the gym, you guys. Uh, are, it's about 9.30 and 9.45 on Sunday morning. And we came on Sunday because Sunday is leg day for Derek. And Jay told me, you got to go on leg day. Yeah. <laughs> so he that's likes it because he doesn't do legs anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We're going to get it All there. Right, and then uh, you look great, man. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, The new goodies. I know. I'm so happy. Not, not, many, not many people have that. I don't even have it. There's 15 dextros in there. I have no carbs, so unfortunately, it's part of my carbs for today. But tastes awesome, huh? Yeah. I mean, see, the sour series for all those has been like I've been I've been taking stuff for 30 years, and like I, it's like no bullshit, like. I endorse the shit of him right now, not because, I mean, one, because he's my friend, of course. But yeah, we like him. The taste is like, the taste. <laughs> Unbelievable, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like, when he came out with the fruit punch and all those, I was like, good, but when the Star Wars came out, I was like, I know. Shit. It's and like I, candy. I, I give them to my clients, and they're like, dude, what is that? And they started buying, so I mean, <laughs> he's such, he's so good with, I don't want to say he's anal, but he's so particular about the He's thing. meticulous, And yeah. I love how, yeah, that's what, yeah. and he, even like with the protein powers and that, yeah. the fine of it, I mean, yeah. like I said, I've been around for a long time, it's like, I don't bullshit him, I said, dude, that shit is great, and I just, <laughs> and I have every product that he's had out, and I'm like, and we talk about him and all that, like, I can't wait for the peanut butter to come out, and like, even he came out with the lemon amplified, and I love his, he gets excited. Yeah, you know. And that's what's so cool, he's like, <laughs> you gotta try this one, let me know how it is, you know, <laughs> you and know. he mixes these two, and I get excited, because, you know, it's, it's the same as like with Bible, and he, he, the way he loved to train. Yeah. And now he puts it into his business, so yeah. it's just awesome. He's you so want water? Yeah. Oh, you already had some? Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. All right, so D, I want to I wanna go back a little bit because it seems like we've been filming for such a long time, and you're telling me off camera we we filmed like two years ago the 2018, last time. 2018, yeah. That's crazy, time flies. I did Classic in 2016. Right. Took off 17, life stuff. Came back in 18, went back to 212. And it was good, but... It was definitely, I mean, I was kind of like, shit, am I getting old? And, you know, and I am getting older like that. And the body responded well. Um, and I took a year off again, and I was happy to take a year off. And this year, I feel younger than I did, like, 36, 37. You know what I mean? Like, the pandemic, I don't know if it was like a blessing in disguise where, it, you know, everyone else, everything was so stressful. Yeah. It made training the least stressful. And the year, of, you know, my legs grew again. And then my legs aren't supposed to go after oh, 40. Yeah. Um, I had the newbie machine and it kind of taught me a lot about pulling back. So, like Dexter, we always talk about that rehabilitation and about longevity. That's the biggest thing of mine is, is I want to do this stuff till I was 60. I always, uh, a funny story was when I was like 25, 26, I used to train with Peter Coney back in Mass. And the joke was, you know, there's some guys in the gym that look really good at 50. So I was always like, man, I hope like when I'm 50, I can look like them. I don't want to be a fat slob, <laughs> you know? And when I compete in Tampa, the day of the show, is actually my 50th birthday. So I'm competing on my 50th birthday. Wow. That, so it's kind of funny to go, Barry was worried about being like, I'm not a fat ass at 50. I'm that is probably these. the best you've ever looked. Yeah, and that's what people <laughs> say. So it's crazy just because the longevity, you know, it's been my thing. How many, okay, so how old were you when you started training? I think we've covered Six, that before. I was 16, so 16? we're going about 35 years now. Wow. You know? And I've been a pro for going on 19 years. So how many shows is that for you, this, this one coming up? Do you know? About 70, 72. Really? Now it'd be, 
amateur and pro. Wow. How, much, how many pros? How many pro pros will probably be, I think it's almost 30, 35. Wow. I mean, I competed when there was no 212. There was, That's all right. All we had was, I competed with Melvin Anthony, Tony Freeman. Open, um, yeah. You know, this is when David Henry was competing, also in the Open. Yeah. I competed with all the guys at the Iron Man that were, you know, I mean, I was dwarfed by six foot guys. And I mean, I loved, and I still did it because, you know, at the time it wasn't going to be, you know, who cares if there was no division? I want to compete with the best. And I loved it. And then, you know, they came out with 202. They came out with 212. Yeah. They came out with classic, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I just love to compete. Yeah. I mean, if I don't compete next year, I'll still get in the shape of it because I love how I feel. I mean, the reaction of having, you know, my clients love it because, you know, I mean, you said I look young and that's what I want to keep. You know? It ties in with everything else you're doing yeah, also. I think if you stop competing, not that I could see that, but um, I don't think your interest in everything else you're doing would be as yeah, good, yeah. right? Yeah, it kind of all don't ties think so. in together. Is, like I, this year, I mean, when I love to Olympia, yeah, of course, but I also am not. I mean, I'm realistic. These kids I'm going against, and I call them kids. They're like 30 years old. I've been competing. I've been training longer than they've been born. Yeah. So my thing going there is just like look the best I can, and if I can crack it, I'll crack it. And if not, then I'll be back next year. The thing is, I just want to keep the longevity of my, you know, my passion. You know? When it, when you um, when you first started lifting and you became a pro, did you have a uh, an age in, in your mind where you're like, okay, I'm going to do this in my 40 or I, I thought 40 I would be tapped out okay and I mean I didn't go to the Olympia right until I was 42 that was my first wow. Olympia was 42 See? then I went to Olympia at 46 wow and you know I mean just because so I mean, and the thing is because I mean the NBC gave me more opportunities because they came out with the 212 I would never would have went to Olympia the platform and there yeah. was an open yeah yeah but I went there because they came out with the 212 then I went there because they came out with classic you know so they've come out with opportunities so that more division which is great yeah I mean it builds the business up. It builds up fitness for every every aspect. Not everyone can be an open body bone. It's not that healthy to be an open body bone. Yeah. So classic is beautiful. You know, at men's physique, you know, not everybody can can grow legs because of different sports. So I love it because the the industry grows, and you know what I mean. It, it keeps more people in, in the industry. It builds up my business because people want to get in shape for a different division or this and that. So it allows me to keep you know going as I get older. Let's talk about your business for a second. You've always been very business savvy. You moved to San Diego early on, mm -hmm. uh, first just to train people. You've been doing this for years. And then you said, you know what? I want to, I'm really interested in, in, in um, uh, massages, yeah, and, yeah, massages yeah. And, and like the therapeutic yeah. things. So you went to school to doing that. Then after that, you did a lot of that. So you were bouncing between doing that and, and uh, the training. And then you added the new machine to your repertoire so now you really kind of have like three business in one yeah because and they all go together you know what i mean like right I, and the thing was about the newbie was brad rose i get a huge shout out to brad because he, pushed, he started this whole thing with he the body was pushing really hard with me he's pushing you know and and the, and the first thing i saw was you know the stupid price 18 000, 18 000. You know, and i didn't think about the thing but he was like Derek, this is up your alley he was really really into that and i, I had this thing my like, cryotherapy was a big thing so i was bouncing back and forth and i just didn't understand how the newbie was so well because Brad used it for training. So when Brad came down, he said, let me get you on the damn machine. He got me on the machine, it was very impressive. But when he took it off and said, let me show you what I can do therapeutically. The minute he touched me with a glove and he showed me the sensor, it was lights up. My, I lit up, I went home, I talked to one of my uh, investors, I, he's one of my accounts, and I said, hey, help me work this up. And I showed him on, he's like, do it. He was like, even if I had to give the money in front of it, he was that adamant. And he, I said, no, I can do it, but it doesn't make sense. And he, he really geared me towards the newbie over Cairo, over the prior because it made more sense. I can train you downstairs on it, or I can do therapeutic. And the thing is, I do 60-70% therapeutic with it and like 30% training. But it also helps me and I can say, let's throw you on it. So some people I train on it, some people I do therapeutic. And a lot of people are injured. And this is where it ties in and nobody in San Diego has one. That's right. So I'm very like that. We kind of took over the market over here. I also have like the compression boots and I have other, I have ice therapy and heat therapy, so that's where I try to break out more. And it, the only thing that gets in the way is training for a show. Because you know, like Jay used to say, when June comes, he had to shut down his business. And yeah. that's where I know that once I stop competing, I will rip up that side of my life where I'll, start, you know, I'll take on way more business um, and just attack it. But right now, I'm loving what I'm doing, so I'm trying to balance it to enjoy life. Talk to me a, a little bit about how it was for you during quarantine. We all were affected with that, and, and you told me off camera, listen, as long as I can get out of my house, get my food, and train, I'm good. And it was a you know, and like, <laughs> the one thing about me is, like, mine is I come from East Coast, and we're, like, and I'm very outspoken people hear me. I'd, I'd be like, fuck it, fuck it, you know? <laughs> For some reason, 
I was very calm with it because I just knew there's nothing I can do. So all I cared about was I get to the grocery store and they can only get so much and I would just be diligent, get up at seven in the morning, go there, get what I was allowed to get, stock, 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 stock. If you gotta wear a mask, you gotta wear a mask. And I don't know why people freaked out about it, but it's like, as long as I can get my food, I didn't care. As long as I can get to the gym, I didn't care. And I just knew stress and all it's gonna do, stress is gonna do is make everything worse. So I just really, you know, stepped back and, and budgeted my money as much as I can. Thank God I saved money and I knew I had money till July. And thank you to all my clients who they reached out and I'd say, hey, can I, you know, can I come to your house and do a massage? So I went back to old school. Nice. I had enough equipment in my car to go train them. I had the newbie and the newbie allowed me to do it. So I put all my, Good timing. my massage table, I had the newbie and I got the newbie in February. Yes. So I mean, talk about timing. So I, I had know. the newbie in my car, massage in my car and weights in my car. And I was just traveling to people's houses and I probably did a third of what I usually do. But again, you know, thank God unemployment was there to balance it too out. And I just, you know, just made it work and then just kept, do what you can do. And like I said, as long as I can eat and train and then stay level, it didn't matter, you know? And I think the fact of doing that allowed my body to rest and I had I had more time off from the thing and let my body heal and it let me actually come to the show being my best. And maybe that's, maybe that's why you look so fresh right now. That's, right. Know, that's like, what I you look I like really, on the pictures, yeah. I mean, I was getting 10, 11 hours of, you know, if I was home, I'd be working 10, 11 hours. Now I'm working six and I'd be home and I, would, I wasn't stressed and I'd be relaxing. Yeah. So that's why I said I think it really was a blessing and I try to use it to my advantage. Yeah. And you said, you know, you try to take that time and, and do something positive with it. Yep. You know, clean the garage, clean the yard, yeah, do things, things that, that you, yeah. you don't usually have the time for. You know, how many times have you said, you know, God, except like, take a week off once a month, you know? Yeah. And here I was, it was like, when I remember saying that, I'm like, well, you got what you wanted. So I took advantage of doing it. I, you know, clean a couple of things, do this, get the front yard, whatever it was to get things done. And then, you know, it started picking back up again. So I, I mean, I tried to use as much as I could in a positive way. Of course, I was frustrated like everyone, you know? It's still going on now. I know? was thinking about you because, you know, people like you and Jay and Brad, you guys are so busy all the time, such blue collars, such hard workers all the time. It's like, I can't imagine what you guys would be just sitting there doing nothing, but you don't. You I know, mean, you well, one thing too is that, you know, I, I, sh I shut, not, you know, I don't BS anybody. Yeah. When I watch Jay, and like Jay texts me a lot, and I'm very thankful he does. He's very positive and he never, you know, when you watch his videos, he kept the positive side. So yeah. I really jumped on his bandwagon. Yeah. And I say no bullshit was like, kept it, you know what I mean? Just keep it positive, don't go in the negative. And I fed off of him. Just yeah. Because like, you know, he his, he wasn't traveling, this and that. And I said, you know what? I'm Big change for him I'm too. I'm gonna follow his suit. Yeah. I'm gonna stay positive when that thing works. Like, I have a hard time doing it. So yeah. I did, that was a diligent thing was to, I grab I gravitated towards him. I'd watch his videos and I would, he would text me back and I just kept the positive. He's like, just keep going, keep going. And I try to just, you know, stay in that path. And I like, yeah. think of him as being a good friend of me, you know, so. I think, I think age, uh, aging is actually suiting you well, I gotta say, <laughs> because, because yeah. you're so high strong. I've known yep. you for years now. Yep. And as, I, I, from time to time when we, when we film, your demeanor is different in, in a good way, in a positive way. And I don't, you, I don't think you stress as much as the things you used to. And I guess that's the beauty of aging. We become yeah. more uh, they, wise, I guess, a little bit. A lot of older people, like a lot of my clients, are, I've had for 15 years. So the 60s and they, a lot of them are, have become very close friends. And you know, they're kind of, it's like, I don't have any aunts and uncles, but they become my aunts and uncles. And I kind of said like, you won't care after that. Like, do you really give a shit about that? And they, and they and they have like East Coast, uh, one, one, yeah. one female from Philadelphia, she's like, she doesn't really matter, Derek. You know, and I can relate <laughs> to her, so it's really cool because I respect my elders. That's one thing I do is I'm always like, you know what, you're right. You know, and I'll text them back and say, you know what, thank you. Because they're going through the same stuff and they just say, hey, Derek, you've been here before. You know, yeah, and I'm yeah. learning just from like, I listen to the older people because, I mean, we've all been through shit and they know yeah. it. So it's, you know, again, I just, I don't want to be one of those people who like, grows to be a grumpy old man older. I want to go the other way where, yeah. you know, cause like I said, when you get older, like some things you got to let go. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. one day training, is, I'm not going to be on stage and like that. Every year it's harder, you know? Yeah. This year it's just enjoy because I do it when the best I've ever done. You told me that uh, the last prep you did in 18 was uh, for Chicago. Yep. And this prep has been a lot better. Right. Night and day. Night and day. And it's just, I don't know, like I said, it's just because more rest. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I look better. My body's popped and I feel fresh. Um, even going to Tampa Pro, the guys that were out there, um, Derek Oslin, uh, Justin up in Massachusetts, who's all, you know, he's a little midget like me, you know. We all talk on the, on the sides, and it's just the camaraderie with the 212 is, is the best. I yeah. would always say the Jose Ravens and David Henry's, oh, the, you know, the Flex Lewis. Yeah. When you're backstage with these guys, 
we're all family. You know what I mean? Like Craig yeah. Richardson did the Chicago and he, and he won, right? That's right, that's when right. When he was there, we've been speaking, me and him alone for 25 years together. Yeah. So when we're backstage and we're hanging out, I mean, like, I haven't seen him for years. We sit down like we've been hanging out forever. And that's why I love the 212 is we're all so close, so supportive. You know, George Peterson is coming down, you know, to do the show. And it's like, I can't wait to step on stage with him. He's a freak. Yeah. But to see these guys, it's like we all love each other in that sense of like, it's a big brotherhood. Yeah, yeah. And whoever yeah. wins, it's like, dude, you look freaking great. We have such a support. And a lot of, you know, social media is destroyed that camaraderie because everyone the shit talks yeah but with these guys I have like the most respect because they're such great guys and, and some of them are half my age I mean they're 25 30 years old but we all still have the same mentality and I love it you know what I mean Just, who are you closest in this sport would you say you mean like three names closest well, we know Jay of course yeah like that. I mean I, mean, I had to be Jay I mean I talked to Brad a lot I mean just because I think because like East Coast mentality yeah. like that um, I reached out to Jose I love you know, what's Jose. I mean, because again, just Jose has East Coast mentality. Yeah. Um, he doesn't care either. He's kind of like, he doesn't, he's he's a mellow, I don't care. He's you know? so funny. So, and the thing is, I reach out to him just be like, listen, and we talk, you know, and he keeps him mellow, Jay keeps him mellow. You know, Brad is actually the opposite. So see, Brad kind of sometimes might oh, yeah, because he's always going, 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 and kind of <laughs> keeps on your toes. So I like the balance of, yeah. like, if I watch guys sit there, I have like a oh, stress dude. attack. Yeah, yeah. Guy, <laughs> the guy's like, like oh. guys is like two times yeah, like, two. Like yeah. I used to think like I was hyper. I'm like, I go, please tell me I wasn't like that when I was his age. Because I mean, what's he almost like 40? We he's love guy, but like, man, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going. like, he's got some energy, you know? Yeah, but, like, man. All of that whole, I mean, the funny thing is we say it, it's actually the acido thing. I know it sounds weird, but everybody that's with acido, we all, there's a certain week, you know, Edward Carrera, you got Patrick Morris. All those guys, for some reason, like we all start to mold to be the same. And I don't know what it is, but it's just under that, you know, under the. Yeah, under Chris. he tells me. He tell Chris tells me uh, the New England crew is yeah, the yeah. people is my crew. He says for some reason, did you notice that all mo most of your best friends are from New England or yeah. you know back east? I'm like, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> He's I, right. I think it's just because we don't. If is that mentality? We we don't bullshit you. And like I said, if I say you're fat, it's not being a dick. <laughs> it's because I gave me, we care. A lot of people don't understand yeah, yeah. the bluntness that we have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, would you let me tell me you look good and you walk away? I'm like, he has no fucking chance in how to win the show. Yeah, yeah. Or, hey, dude, you look like shit. Let's pick you up. I mean, yeah. I remember back home doing shows and there was no coaches. And we had other guys in gym and they'd be looking at you go, come here. And they take you down to some pose and make you pose right. It's because you don't want your friends to fall or yeah, fail yeah. you pick them up you don't push them down you know that's I mean? right. so that's how we've always been like reaching out to Jose reaching out to Jay reaching out to Brad any of these close crew I can reach out in two seconds and they're back and that's just how we are you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, they yeah, reach yeah. out to me Derek what's out in San Diego what do you want what do you need yeah you know? so it's always that so Tampa Pro in about three weeks yeah. actually just today yeah. um, do, you, do you know I hope it's not. Do you know it's just going to be your last show, or are you going to take it one year at a time and see what Always happens? Always one year at a time. Like, I would never, like, I don't, like, the biggest thing with the the journey is awesome. Yeah. Like, I don't, I think I could, I could die for a show. It's, at the show, has been a disappointment. When I did Dallas last year, it was pretty good. You know, no problem, no problem. Again, it's, the, the crowd and the audience is not the same. And nothing with the pandemic, we just said, it wasn't, you know, that the audience isn't, is quarter the thing full. Yeah. Um, there isn't such attendance. Um, even like doing routines used to be a big thing for me. And now it's like, I'm not going to put a huge effort into it when there's 20 people in the audience. It just doesn't bring the crowd along anymore. Um, Chicago was a big disappointment just because by the time we went on stage, there was no one there. So it was yeah. just kind of like, and just it just died out. There wasn't that excitement there. Yeah. Tampa Pro, I'm very confident with who's already going. Yeah, it's All always the guys good. are great and it's just, it's a very hyper show, but yeah, um, well, I, do, I might do another show after Tim. Who knows? Okay, I'm not gonna like I'm gonna see the schedule because again, everything's kind of up in the air. I know. So if I only do one show, it's fine. Yeah. If I do one show, I'd probably compete again. But if it's next year and I'm I'm doing a little business, the business will come first. I just okay. know. I go by feel. I always Jay's always like, "Is this your last one?" And I'm always like, you know, it's definitely fading only because the stage part is less, but the. Like being on zero carbs yesterday, which I've never done, I'm not complaining. You're still hungry. You still yeah, have like, that passion like I for I still it. love it, but the stage part where I would say, hey, let me do a photo shoot. Like I, have a, I have a shoot next week. That's all I need. If yeah. I can mark, if I can 
document what I did, yeah, yeah. I would be fine. And I'd still hire a coach to do it because hiring the coach that allows me to focus on other stuff. That's but right. that's, that would be the big thing is if I don't want to compete, I'm still going to find a way to like, you know, get in shape and use it to like market myself. Yeah, you know? so, that's awesome. Yeah. D, thanks for much, oh, so much for having us at your, you guys, your place. Bro. I'm glad. Please don't wait two years until we come back. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you back down here. We'll get you on the newbie. That's what we'll do. We'll oh, man. You. If we can get Jay in the newbie, that would be the market. Oh, myself. my God. That's it. I'm going to have to bribe him that's somehow. That's been Brad's goal for two years now. Exactly. So. so me and Brad are going to get you on the fucking team, bro. All right, D, thanks awesome. so much for having Thank us. So much, guys. Best of luck in three All weeks, right. buddy. Thank you. All right.